Every night, as you close your eyes, you make a silent covenant with the darkness, a promise of rest, restoration, and renewal. But what if one of the most common, most seemingly innocent positions you sleep in is quietly breaking that promise? What if a habit you've held for decades, one that feels as natural as breathing, is creating a silent storm inside the most delicate organ in your body, your brain? Welcome to Healthy Steps Seniors. I'm Dr. Christopher Wilson. Our mission here is to bridge timeless life wisdom with trusted, science-backed medical guidance. Today, we are going to pull back the curtain on a topic of urgent importance, the one sleeping position that could dramatically increase your risk of a stroke overnight, without any warning. By the end of this video, you will not only understand the danger, but you will be empowered with the knowledge to protect yourself starting tonight. Let's begin. We're going to dive straight into the most critical issue. Many of you have asked about the safest way to sleep, and the truth is one position stands out as particularly hazardous for those of us over 60. The number one most dangerous position, the stoic sleeper. I call it the stoic sleeper, sleeping perfectly flat on your back without a pillow or with one that's far too flat. It might seem noble, a sign of a strong back or simple habits. Perhaps it's a practice you picked up years ago, believing it was good for your posture. But for the aging brain, this position can be a trap. Let me tell you about Arthur a 78-year-old retired history teacher from Pennsylvania. A man of principle and routine, Arthur was proud of his no-fuss approach to life. He slept flat on his back every night, a habit he believed kept his spine straight and his mind clear. He'd often joke, a soft pillow makes a soft mind. On Tuesday morning, his wife found him sitting on the edge of the bed, staring blankly at the wall. He was awake, but the spark was gone. He couldn't form words, and his right arm hung limply at his side. At the hospital, the scans confirmed our fears. An ischemic stroke. A clot had blocked a critical artery supplying blood to the left side of his brain. Arthur had no history of smoking and managed his diet well. The culprit was hidden in his nightly routine. Here is the science behind why Arthur's habit was so dangerous. When you lie completely flat, your head is level with your heart. As we age, our blood vessels lose their youthful elasticity, a condition doctors call arteriosclerosis. The veins in your neck that are responsible for draining blood away from your brain now have to work against gravity without any help. Think of it like a plumbing system in an old house. The pipes are narrower and the flow is sluggish. When blood flow slows down, it can pool and thicken, creating the perfect environment for a clot to form, especially during the early morning hours when your blood pressure naturally surges. But there's a deeper reason, something we've learned a lot about recently. It involves something called the glymphatic system. Think of this as your brain's nightly cleaning crew. During deep sleep, this system flushes out toxins and waste products that accumulate during the day. Crucially, as confirmed by research from institutions like the National Institute on Aging, this cleaning process works most efficiently when your head is slightly elevated. Lying flat can compromise this system, leading to inflammation and vascular stress over time. For Arthur, decades of sleeping this way had created a chronic, low-level circulatory traffic jam in his brain. The stroke was just the final devastating outcome. The Actionable Step the solution is surprisingly simple, yet profoundly effective. Elevate your head slightly, about 15 to 30 degrees. This doesn't mean propping yourself up awkwardly. 
one or two supportive pillows or a wedge pillow is all it takes. This simple angle uses gravity to your advantage, helping blood drain efficiently and supporting your brain's nightly detox. Always choose a pillow that supports the natural curve of your neck rather than one that pushes your chin to your chest. Now that we understand the primary risk, let's look at two other common but dangerous habits. The face-down position, an airflow crisis. Sleeping on your stomach or in the prone position forces you to turn your head sharply to one side simply to breathe. For an older adult, this is a recipe for disaster. This extreme angle can compress the vital vertebral arteries in your neck, which supply blood to the back of the brain, the area controlling balance and coordination. Our physical therapy consultant emphasizes that this neck torsion can reduce blood flow by over 40% in individuals with age-related cervical spine changes. Furthermore, it compresses your chest, leading to lower oxygen levels overnight. Your brain is literally being starved of the two things it needs most, blood and oxygen. The actionable step. If you are a stomach sleeper, it is critical to train yourself to switch. Try sleeping on your side. A body pillow can be a wonderful tool here. Hugging a body pillow can simulate the pressure on your chest that you find comforting while keeping your spine and neck in a much safer alignment. The Side Sleeper's Trap, The Danger of a Pinned Arm Finally, let's talk about sleeping on your side, specifically with your arm tucked under your head or pillow. This feels incredibly natural to millions, but it can create a dangerous compression point. When you lie on your arm for hours, you're not just putting it to sleep, you're putting direct pressure on the carotid artery in your neck and the brachial plexus, a critical bundle of nerves in your shoulder. This is especially dangerous when lying on your right side. Let me tell you about Margaret, a 75-year-old retired nurse. She knew all the medical rules, but her one habit was sleeping on her right side, arm tucked tightly under her pillow. She woke up one night with what she described as a thousand pins and needles in her arm and a strange fleeting dizziness. She dismissed it. A week later, she experienced a TIA, or a mini-stroke. Her ultrasound showed a mild narrowing of her right carotid artery. Her sleeping position was likely the tipping point, compressing the artery just enough to restrict blood flow and allow a tiny clot to form. Our experts at Healthy Step Seniors often point to studies like those in the Journal of the American Heart Association, which suggest that sleeping on the left side can be beneficial for heart circulation and even digestion. By switching to your left side and keeping your arms forward, you avoid compressing these critical pathways. The actionable step. Make a conscious effort to sleep with your arms in front of you or alongside your body. Use a contoured pillow designed for side sleepers to maintain proper neck alignment without needing your arm for support. It will feel unnatural at first, but it's a change that protects the highways that feed your brain. So, we've uncovered the truth. The stoic sleeper lying flat on their back, the face-down position, and the side sleeper's trap are not just harmless habits— they are silent architects of risk, working against your body's natural need for safe, restorative sleep. The stories of Arthur and Margaret are not meant to scare you. They are meant to empower you. They show us that most strokes that happen during sleep are not random acts of fate. They are often the result of routines we never thought to question. And that is the most hopeful message I can share with you today. You have the power to change the outcome. Elevate your head. Use a supportive pillow to create a gentle 15 to 30 degree angle. Protect your neck. Avoid extreme twists. Use pillows to keep your spine aligned. Free your arms. 
Don't use your arm as a pillow. Keep circulation flowing freely. These are not just tips for comfort. They are acts of profound self-respect for the life you've lived and the vibrant years you still have ahead. Please remember, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult your doctor for any health concerns. At Healthy Step Seniors, we believe knowledge is the first step towards a healthier, more empowered life. What is one small change you will make tonight after watching this video? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Your experience could be the inspiration someone else needs to see. If you found this information valuable, please give this video a like and share it with someone you love. And be sure to subscribe to Healthy Step Seniors for more trusted guidance. Thank you for investing this time in your well-being. Sleep wisely and live fully.